One of the times I see this guy the most excited is when he gets to go on car trips. And today, I know we've been before and you've seen probably all the other video, but today is a long car trip to Florida and he knows it. He's tore up. Uh, he's uh, bouncing around the house and acting like an acrobat. He's so excited to go. Ain't you, you don't want to go, do you? I feel bad making us all go. I know. I don't think he wants to go. Come on, let's get in your kennel. You're going to stay here. We're going to Florida. Hey, get in your kennel. We're leaving you. No, no, you got to stay in there. We're, no, we're leaving you. You're staying here. You're staying here. Okay, you can go. You can go bye bye. You can go. You want to go? He don't want to go. No, he's not. He don't want to go. Dobermans hate car trips. Ain't that right, Cruz? We hate them. Okay, let's see what yeah. she packed for big boy. We got treats. We got the toy. Because anytime you take a baby anywhere, you got to have a toy. We got the chew toy. We got his handy dandy light up collar. Make it easier for us to spot him. Then, oh, big bag of dog food. She took and repackaged some of his dog food to go with. We got his Flex VX supplements. He takes those. He likes those. Travel water bottle. Got to have that. So we want to be good stewards and good ambassadors for pets and large dogs, Dobermans in particular. Okay, get in. So we've covered the back of our rental car uh, to protect the seat, even though it probably wouldn't do a lot of damage. But uh, that way the next time somebody rents a car, they won't be asking, hey, you don't have a dog, do you? So maybe we'll uh, be promote some goodwill for Doberman Pinchers. I know what you're doing. These guys are wanting to eat. So we got a friend that's going to feed them for us while we're gone. Uh, the older guy gets the equa stages. The young guy gets the sweet mix. Is that right? Now everybody on the internet can tell us how that they would feed them better <laughs> and how they would do a better job of it. Yeah, field full of grass. That's yep. the best thing for him. So we got some horse poop here. If anybody's interested in some absolutely good grade A fertilizer. He's like, I really don't want out. I'm afraid you'll leave me. <laughs> it's your money mask you've already made. That's why we have seat covers. Yep. So we've been thinking for a long time how limited his time is with us. So this is going to be sort of a bucket list trip for him, even though he's only five years old. But to celebrate his time with us and make every minute enjoyable for him as we can and I think he'll make it enjoyable for us in return. You gotta look out that window again. Only when we're going slow though. We're going fast, the window's gotta go up. It's getting prettier as we go. What do you think about that beautiful sun cruise? It's a pretty sunset, isn't it? So even though he loves to go on car trips and he goes loves to go riding, it's really important that you stop pretty often to let him use the bathroom. Keep an eye on him. He stays pretty close with me. He's really good to come by command and stuff. He's just smelling right now. Make sure he doesn't poo-poo. If he does, I'm gonna get a bag out of the car and take it with us. Not right. Come on. Nip off. Pop off. Oh, I know it's hard to there we go. We'll do it like that. There you go. And this one's just for being awesome. Oh hi. People okay. like to what you eat. 
That's what I've been trying to say. I'm never cleaned up. Never. I've been going through a hard time. Hurt my back. Had knee surgery. Had it rough. I may be able to, depending on if McDonald's. Get that nasty thing. <laughs> Get that nasty thing away from me. That's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> Stop for gas along the way here. He waits in the car, and then when Mama gets back from the bathroom and stuff, she takes him and lets him use it too. So he waits and he guards the car. That's his job, everybody. Place to stay for the night but the problem is you got a big dog big dogs are different because you'll see all these hotel motels that say oh they're pet friendly but they mean these little chihuahuas these little tiny dogs motel six that's where we stay when we're out on the road because motel six allows any size dog no extra charge every location and they're set up perfectly for dogs and that's why we like it now there are other motels and hotels that accept them, but it's usually varies per chain. It usually you know, there's a weight limit of the dog, and there's a charge. There's all kinds of stuff goes on, but what I found is consistency is that Motel Six is the way to go. And Motel Six didn't pay me anything, by the way. I didn't get a free room. I didn't get a discount. There's there's nothing like that going on. There's no compensation going on. I just really like Motel Six, and it took us a while to find a motel that allowed dogs of his size, the Dobermans, they weren't afraid of them when they had any problem with them. And when we finally did, we stuck with them because there's a Motel 6 stuck every 10 miles or something. I like the fact that they've got floors that are either tiled or they're composite. The beds are off the ground a little bit. It means that there's no place for an animal, I almost lift my knee pillow, an animal to pee on that can't be wiped down easily. Nothing, no fabrics to ruin or stain in the floors. Everything's up, dog friendly, clean. Motel 6 is our choice on the road for your protection when dead bulls engage security. Blah, blah, blah. You got a whole bed. Way down there. 